Howdy guys. This weekend we're at Van Life Festival. And we're here in our Rusty Vario. And what's better than one Vario is a ton of them. We're going to be showing you around some of those this weekend and everything else that's going on at the show. Hope you enjoy. The festival this year is at the West Midland Showground and it's on the River Severn. We've got behind us, and because we've got here on the Thursday, we've got it all to ourselves. One of the great things about the show is it's right by Shrewsbury, so we thought it rude not to go in and check out what's going on there. We've made our way down the river into Shrewsbury. And we've looked around loads of the shops. There's so much to see here, it's like mega, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful, really gorgeous. Like architecture, places to eat. We've mm. managed to get some to eat, haven't we? Yeah which was like I said, it was right by the river as well. And we're sat in a huge park at the moment. Yeah, everyone's having like a really nice time, which is fabulous. But we're not at the festival. Reason why is because today's Friday and it's not started properly yet. But by the time we get back, I bet you it's filling up. Yeah, it was starting to get really busy. We're going to make our way back now about 15 minutes and see what's going on there. Putting up our bunting for Vario Street. Get ready for the show. We're up earlier today, although we were to bed later. Up real early, almost nine o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> On Saturday, the show obviously kicks off and we get day visitors. So yeah. we need to get the bus ready and looking presentable. And then we're going to try and do some tours of other vans ourselves. Mm -hmm. We're piped up with all the varios this year. And every year, the guys do a fantastic job, don't they? They're what, great. What have they created this year? Very strong. Um, how many have we got? Should we go through and count them? Yeah. yeah. I don't actually know a lot, I think. Yeah, a lot. a lot. Some are for sale as well, if you're interested. How many? Three? Yeah, I think so. We've got some troublemakers in the group. Um, we won't name any names, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, honorary Varios, because some are in build. It's this dead. one's for sale. And one of the most famous ones, there's also for sale. There's also for sale. Oh, oh my God, there's someone famous. Smell that bacon. Oh, smell a vision. Oh, it smells good. Mm. It does smell good, doesn't it? It smells good. But you're not having any. Oh. We've got many cats here. Yeah, including this one and that one. That one's driving. That one's supervising. <laughs> Do you recognise what's on the front of that one? So this is Max's, Rusty Rose Adventures. Oh yeah! And on the front... Like what does it say on it now? Um, Wonderlust Adventures. Limited edition sticker from last year. Magnet that is. <laughs> and there's Max's stickers up here. Yeah. I can't believe he just left it there. And all along here, we've got loads of other ones. Including us. They're everywhere. Back. And we're, we're parked over here next to Escape from Atlantis, Caramello, and Emily and Dave at the end. We're going to try and have a look in there later. You see so she's going to pout. Why are we going this way? So we're going this way so we can check out the different traders and things that are going on. There's a cool place so you can basically buy like a uh, off cut of a branch and then you can whittle it down into your own little mushroom and we're in the process of making it. But it's funny because you walk around the festival and you see people like doing it. Yeah. It's funny, yeah. isn't it? And then you like you get a mouthful of like sawdust. We still got loads of work to do on ours. Loads yeah. of mushroom work. Mm. Mushroom man. Oh. Mushroom man. <laughs> <laughs> Make a wish. Matches your top. Come on over here that we know. This is Chris from Bespoke Solar. Helped us build our fantastic system. 
here today, aren't you? Your, your photo is even on my display. Never. Is it? Yeah. It's it's oh, it time. is. Still there, still famous. Yeah. Look at that, there we are. That's ours. Yeah. <laughs> We're still famous. So there we are, famous on Chris's stand. And he just said that we can have a Victron flag. Like yeah. Very, very much excited. Really. Rich is super excited. Where's your Victron hat? In the van. That might have fit on my, my master's head because they're more modern. <laughs> There we are, yeah, famous. There's a flag shot. Huge, it's so much to look at. Every time I go and say hello to a dog, it barks at me though. I don't know if I stink or what. <laughs> Maybe it's your hat or your beard. I don't know. It's your face. Okay. Well, well, it's one of those <laughs> things. Thanks for all of the, finding out all of my flaws. Your face is gorgeous, I love it. Maybe it's because they don't like beards. Could be, could be the beard, can it? Don't blame them, don't blame them. <laughs> We're actually trying to find, what are we trying to find, Ali? Find a smoothie van. So we have one last time. And Lily wants one. Good morning. Hello. Yeah. Want to be on fantastic. the vlog? <laughs> You're like, no. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Get in. <laughs> well, very few. We're going to look in their van in a minute. They don't know it, but we are. There's a Hillman Imp over here. It's very cool. I reckon we can make a terrarium for in the bus. That one wouldn't quite fit. I have little ones. Good spot. Arabo man. What is he up to, Cal? Waving, you've just got a dirty mind. Yeah. Yeah. Here it is, smooth. Is that a big cube? No, we're all right. It's good for the skin. Let's go and choose our fruit. Yeah! It's gonna come play. Over here we've got like a fun fair and a field of dreams. So we're just gonna go back and get some lunch. We've got all sorts of boss things in there. Hopefully look around some more very oats. We're just making our way along. We're gonna have a look in Mavis gets about first. Just like our van, Dave and Emily built their van them, themselves and it's built for full-time travel. They built this themselves from scratch, from a minibus, just like us, but their minibus is slightly differently. So they've got it set up basically for the pair of them, haven't they, and their dog. So come on in through here. Oh, it's like, uh, it's a bit like ours in yeah. terms of like how it's set up in here. And they've got a Thetford, but it's not a triplex. That's cute, isn't it? It is very cute. And then they've got a well, stove. double burner. They've got a full bathroom. The doors and glass. Cool. Ah, there's me in a mirror. And that's their fan. They've got the simple toilet. Rainfall shower. Yeah, the fridge and a, and a freezer. Yeah, into it. If we break anything, we'll have to just delete all this footage and never come back. How do you get into the fridge? Oh, there we are. That's a big fridge. Oh, I assume this is their freezer. It is, look at that. Oh, that's lush. Bag of rice in there. For drinks. Lovely big skylight in the room. It's huge skylight. Just in here. That's their clothes, it's okay. She's not hiding in there. Her wardrobe. Clothes. And then oh, look back here, it's like visual. another whole room. Look at a little sitting room. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. And the reason they built it like this, like if you have a look, the cover feature they've put in, they've got a blind that comes down and then they've got a changing room. So they've got basically a really private bedroom. I think this is a full size king bed. And then a sitting area and as well. And also, Oh, projector. So they watch TV on it. And then on there. Yeah. No way. Yeah. That is so clever. And, got... and oh, they've got two. That's their fans. It does oh, feel nice and cool in there, yeah. You can feel it drawing through, yeah. actually, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you can. This must be the oh. table. That's on, it's on lock inside, is that? Yeah, I'll push yours down. Done it. That's a clever idea. So don't fly out while you're driving. Oh, look at that. 
That's good, isn't it? Yeah. And they've got well, the more heavy duty sliders. Oh, hang on a minute. Push the push your knob in. Push your knob in. Don't break it, don't break it. There we are, it's knocked in there. It smells lovely in here. It does, it really smells it's like familiar. I know what it is. It's definitely lavender. There are hints of lavender knocking mm. about in here, isn't there? Yeah. Ooh, I love look it. Look at this. So <gasps> control center. panel down here, diesel heater, tank test, how much water have they got? Oh, they've still got some left. Yeah, What's they're that? doing alright. I think one's the waste, one's the fresh. Yeah. USBs, Victron setup. I don't know what that does. Should we push it? No. No. And there's this little switch. I bet that's the empty waste water. Mm, better not. <laughs> It's got a really nice light and airy feel in here as well. It makes it feel like a lot bigger. The walkway through is lovely. Yeah, it is. You can see how nice it is set up and how nice and airy it is in here. Beautiful conversion. And really, I like the outside of this one too because they've got bonded windows, um, whereas I was armed. And it just makes it look really sleek and they've got a really big boot area as well, uh, which they can get to obviously from the outside. Oh, that was good fun. I think we're going to see if we can get our noses in anyone else's van. Have a bit more of a nose around. Have a look. What about that one? Yeah. What do you think this is on the front of here? That. What do you think that is? Probably something like Yeah. Yeah. With a winch. And look at it. Look at the fabrication on the front of this van that we're going to look at next. So you want to be with you get stuck in mud. Or if you want to have a laugh, because they are very funny people. They are. Okay. I've never actually been in that bus, I don't sure. think. Again, this is a homemade one. It's done to really, really high quality. It's beautiful. Oh, look, our sticker. Got all plants in here. Fridge, quite a big fridge. And here, one burner on this one. And sink, I love this. Very retro, 70s. Seat and and they've got again. Oh, the oven's down here under the sofa. Is it? There. Is it? If you're ever lucky enough to come across these two, you'll quickly learn about them. They do loads of cooking because they live in their van. They make use of this kitchen like no one else I've seen before. So they've got like a full on wok burner in here that they use for a lot of stuff um, that they make. And of course, They've got a spice rack of all spice racks, which all van lifers absolutely need. Is that we don't have one because we're <laughs> not we're not big herby sh chefy people, are we? No. These guys are. So uh, yeah, absolutely. Look, they've got Jamaican jerk. <laughs> what have they got in their spice rack? Let's have a look. So you've got classic barbecue seasoning. You've got New York buffalo, Japanese spice. Seven spice, not just one. What are these? Soap. Ooh, yeah, soaps. Yeah. Rum. <laughs> they real. Yeah. And this is a marble countertop, believe it or not. So the great is thing, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The great thing about the Varios, obviously, is they've got the weight. This is an 814D, so actually capable of carrying 7,990 kilos. And they've made full use of it in here with stuff like this. Oh, final thing to point out here then, we've got a full-size fridge. This is the domestic fridge by the look of it. Oh, it's nice of Thetford. Yeah, Thetford, as I say. They keep their bread in the fridge. This is going to be debate, isn't it? I, we never keep bread in the fridge. What do you do at home? Yeah, let us know. <laughs> That's true. Are you Caramello or are you Wonderbus? Yeah, bread in the fridge, yes or no? Let us know. Oh, let's have a look up here. <gasps> Projector! And have a look at their very cool sign that they've made. I love that because we need one This is such a good these. idea. Wow. It's just showing the height and the width and the weight. And it started life as a snap-on van, hence the snap-on logo that's there. And they also got a couple of cute little dinosaurs. Knocking around. The favourite thing in, my, in their van, for me, is their shower because they have the most amazing ceiling. I wanted to do this in our bus, but because we went for the curved ceilings, we didn't do it. But if you look up, 
it's all fibre optics. So it's like stars when you're having a shower. It's beautiful. The bed and storage and That's bookshelf. Cool bookshelf isn't yeah, it? little, little, little different things in. I guess they scoot up there to get up. And they've got a skylight as well. The neat thing about this skylight is actually you can climb out of the skylight and up onto the roof. But Richard's favourite thing is in the garage. Is it open? That's the question. Yeah. It's not. Oh, it's not. Cheers, dude. Oh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Never seen in the back of a van like this before. Yeah. This is quite unusual. Yes. The Tash and Connor, they live in their van, don't they? Yeah. And they need a way to get to the shops. Yes. To get out and about yeah. and to make good use of their van. We split ways, Lily. Off they got. A motorbike. A bike. It is pretty cool, isn't it? Should we see yeah. if we can get the camera in there and have a look? Yeah. Do you think you can get in there with the camera? Yeah. Show everybody? Yeah. Isn't this cool, guys? Hopefully. Don't touch the bike. <laughs> She's trying to get an angle of your motorbike. She's right in your garage, just filming your motorbike carefully. Being very careful. Help yourself. It's dashed the bike, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Got it? Yeah. All right, if you come out very carefully, then, because you want to damage the bike. Can I help get out? Yeah, let you hold my hand. Yeah. Got it? Good job, camera girl, Lily. What did you think of Caramello's van? It's super cool. Very cool. What was your favourite bit in there? On my bike. Yeah. Were you surprised to see it in there? Yes. Yeah, me too. Very cool. I remember that they did have a motorbike. Yeah. They've got one ready to build to order. So if you want their contact details, have a look down below because you could build your own very own bespoke motorhome with them and it would be quality. On to the next. This one is for sale. Like the tiles, like um, Tash and Connors. Oh my god! It's pretty! Who lives in here? That is the biggest shower I've seen in any van ever in my life. And uh, in here, what do we have? Wow. Oh wow! Very pretty. I love the colour scheme they've gone for, like the earthy, like terracottas like and emerald green. Yeah! What have we got down here? We've got the Victor Frigo 115i. All the way, innit? We have one of those. We have one of those. It's a great fridge. Would recommend to any van person. We kind of have one of those. We have a Thetford triplex. They have a duplex. We have a... Oh, the push out stop. They've got a four ring burner. Four ring burner? It's the most burners I've seen so far. <laughs> so they've got a bulkhead in theirs. Yeah. Still. And then they've got the three seats in the front, whereas, so you've got the sitting area and the living area completely separate. Neat. Let's go have a look what's in their boot. Let's have a look what we've got here. It's this bigger boot. Could you fit three people in your garage? Well, Flash, wardrobe. And one with a glittery beard. Look at oh, that I magnificent think glittery beard. And it only cost him £12. So this is, this is Dave of the van we looked around earlier. Maybe she gets about, and there she is. That's beautiful. She's a beauty. It's a beauty, and this is the genius that created her. <laughs> <laughs> Just had another little wander around. It's been a good day, hasn't it? Yeah. Everyone's really had a fun. really nice time. We're coining this through the vario hole. This bus yeah. is special, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's owned by a family yeah. of how many? Five. And it sleeps all of them in a way that I bet you've never seen before. Oh, the first thing you'll notice, now I am a hulking six foot five tall, okay? Um, if I were on stilts that were a foot tall, and you'll notice that the ceiling here is quite tall. So the first thing that they did was cut the roof off of this thing and raise it. Raise the roof. To create this. And then if you come on in, you'll see how they've got 
their family seated safely when they're traveling. We've got seats for, how many seats we got here? For four. four. People. The coolest thing I can see so far is the stickers. Good spotting. Now I really like how they have above the cab area created some really nice storage for things up there as well as the stickers. And then they've got their reversing camera, camera and radio up here too. And the other cool thing that you can see from the outside is they've got the original school bus sign up there, which I think Dave, the owner, is going to try and program to say different things at some point. That would be so cool. Very cool. So they got this and then they burnt it with <gasps> blowtorch. Yeah, caught it on fire. And then they've oiled it to create this beautiful worktop. And look how much of it that is. Loads of room, isn't there? And do you recognise yeah. this? Yeah, we have that. We have this as the Thetford Triplex. Um, free ring burner people yeah and look at a fantastically lovely kettle i must say it's very posh it's very posh overhead storage to go in so like any good vario project there are things to do in here like ours but look at the kitchen it's fantastic and they've got a massive sink yeah kind of like ours does this come out it does it does it does come out it's like ours like ours big sink big drainer lily can you yeah. tell everyone about how they sleep their three children in here. So they make a triple bump bed. And they've got loads of room in here. And this is why they needed to raise the roof. Dave's a carpenter, so everything built in here is like absolutely solid as you'd expect it and want it to be. And then at the back is their beautiful bed. Yes. I'll tell you what, it's dead quiet in here. Yeah. And it's not just any bed, is it? It's a king it's size. It's a king size bed. bed. Like a full king size bed. Because the thing that's different with this Vario yeah. to ours, because it's got the fiberglass body, it's 230 centimeters wide or 230. Time to go to the dentist. Wide. <laughs> Dad joke. <laughs> Plenty of storage yeah. underneath in the garage area. What's in there? A cobra. There's a cobra in here, so we're not allowed to look in this area because we don't want to let the snake out of its. And bite us. Oh. <laughs> snake out of its hole. I don't know how to finish this sentence. So we're not going to look in here. So in the evenings, like most festivals, they have entertainment down at the main thing. So we're going to go down and have a dance. But you wait to see what the girls are wearing because it's a little bit chilly now. I mean, I've got a bobble hat on, but... Hello. You all ready for your party? Yes. Oh, I wonder what mummy's got on. Yeah. You ready to party? Yeah, yeah. Let's do the penguin dance, mum. Now you have to put your legs together. <laughs> this is Penguin Dance. Penguin Dance. dance. Penguin dance. Yeah, loving it. Fantastic. <laughs> so am I, it's all in the beard. Oh, it looks good. And look at the moon. No. Sunday today. Um, we're just going to go down and have a look at Max's van. Let's go on inside one of the most famous horse boxes that we know. We're now we're here with Max from Rusty Rose Adventures and he's going to show us his gorgeous horse box that he's done all by himself. Yes. There he is. So here's the back door. Old, old, old house door. Stable door. I love it. Oh, stable as well. Yeah. And I uh, painted that black to smarten it up. Shop awning and uh, waffle boards and... Uh, so no stable? Yeah. And, and yeah, jerry can down there. And uh, yeah, it was just, I chopped off a meat off the back as well because it was longer. I didn't want it any longer. And yeah, and then this is the, the inside in here. Can you go in? Can you use it first? Okay. Wow, it's Huge. so strange to see it in real yeah, life. Yeah, it is. <laughs> 
<laughs> Especially because uh, all the other shows we've seen you and you've always been in your car and this is the first yeah. show I've been to that you've had it. Yeah, well, this yeah. is the second van event and I've been in the van anyway, so, yeah. Well, the most recent addition is the ceiling, which is nice to have. It makes it look a bit more finished, although the ceiling needs finishing itself. Um, yeah, palette wood on the walls and uh, as much reclaimed things as possible. As budget as possible, sink out of a skip, old wardrobe sides, make a good countertop. Gas bottle burner here. I love that. Um, yeah, made that after learning how to weld from welding the van together. And then, um, yeah, obviously under here is the whole subfloor, which quite a few people, is what this van's known for, is its mega subfloor. Your usual 12 volt compressor fridge over there, which was free out of a boat. <laughs> and uh, drawers, and then I've got all electric cooking, as you can see over there. Max is a vegan, um, so he's also got loads of spices. <laughs> We've got no spices. <laughs> <laughs> I've got spices. Oh, no, I do use them, yeah, they're very useful. <laughs> what's, what's your go to spice, Max? Um, well, that's a good question. It's Jamaican jerk, isn't it? You've oh. <laughs> seen that in everyone's house. <laughs> I, li I like the parsley to put on pasta, that's my favourite right here. That's oh, my okay. favourite, yeah, parsley on pasta. You've got more herbs in the front as well, haven't uh, yeah, you? Yeah, you've got yeah, some rosemary them. and mint over there, so yeah. And then um, over here we've got the sofa, which needs finishing, as does most things. But yeah, this is the idea is it might be able to pull out one day to a double bed, but it could be a single bed, it's long enough. Yeah. And then I've got all external switches and stuff, and then some fairy lights up there which are quite nice in the night time. Um, speakers in the ceiling with a subwoofer down there. Here, so you've got your bed above the cab, which saves the length of the vehicle yeah. when you get to, yeah. And then up there's the roof hatch, which is a narrowboat hatch. So it's 50 by 50, so you can climb out. It's open at the moment. Oh, cool, yeah. But yeah, it makes good, because I've got no windows in the front or side to keep these stealthy. Um, but if any noises, I just poke my head out and go, what's going on you out there? What's there? This is the, the electrical, which, isn't its tidiest at the moment because I've added all the speakers, so then you tidy in a bit. So uh, my point was to show that you can cook on electric on a budget. So my whole electrical system didn't cost more than two and a half grand really? to cook Brilliant. on electric That's with all the solar panels, battery, B2B, inverter, and all the equipment itself was, yeah. So budget, it just shows you can do it on a budget if you, if you want to. Yeah. But yeah, and then eventually there'll be a shower there, but for now that's the, well, it will wardrobe. always, it's going to be the wardrobe, toilet, shower, but for now it's the wardrobe, toilet. So, yeah, it's soon, cool. soon to come. And then hot water off the burner in the winter and hot water uh, solar dump load in the winter, uh, summer. So yeah, excess clever. solar will heat the water. Yeah, that's clever, clever um, idea. That's the plan. And that's kind of the next thing to do. And then it's pretty much finished. It's amazing to see you out and about on the road. <laughs> Yeah. I love this as well, the driftwood. Just about a fan in the forest. That was Max's fan. It's still quite busy today, isn't it? Yeah. They're really busy. They're going to stop and get some smoothies and then fill the drips. He's done all right out of us, the smoothie man. Yeah. But it is so good. This guy's still going. He must have a sore arm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Ready? Are you not going back? Does that feel okay? Yeah. Yeah? Are you ready to go? Yeah. yeah. This is the last thing I expected to see. No. Good boy, bad. Well done, Nell. Was that better than doing Hook the Duck, do you think? No. What? <laughs> well, yes. I think it was. Don't work with animals or kids, I think they no, say. We didn't want to pay four pounds for hook a duck. I yeah. think that that was much better value. Yeah, I actually think so. Ben did a fantastic job. He did. They said that they rescued them from Blackpool Beach. Blackpool Beach. Yeah. And one was called Snowman and they touched his nose and he was so soft. So we're in the field of dreams. A few people have uh, chipped off, but yeah. it's still absolutely rammed with interesting vehicles. That's something I've not seen before. No. Do you think that's an old ambulance? Yes, I guess so. Yeah, over here there's a double decker. I think these are famous YouTubers, aren't they? They've got a queue of people that want to go in. Right, talk of Field of Dreams. What's your, what, what would be your dream, Lily? If you could have a van, what would it have in it? Cats. Cats. And this van here, 
has a little cattery outside. We're going to walk through and have a look. No, they might have cats, you don't know. What should we see? Yes. It was pretty cool, but I think they just have one cat. No, I think you probably, probably more than one. Just don't know where it was. They're different areas, didn't they? So they're the outside yeah. cattery on the catio. No, there was a bit that went into a bedroom as well. And then there was a bit at the front. Did you spot that? No. Yeah. Lots of different areas for the cats. Yes. Brilliant. Very interesting. We also brought this crystal from them. We did. Great. Great one to see. Let's see what else we can see. Time at a festival like this. Flies by. I don't even know what we've done. No, this morning. It's just because we keep stopping and chatting to these different just, people, which is lovely. Yeah, it's lush. And then, before you know it, we've got to go home today. Flown by, no, we've been here for, yeah. since Thursday. Yeah, it's, it's Sunday now and it's completely flown by. It's been so good. We're a bit in a panic because these are supposed to be mushrooms that you have, well, they're made into mushrooms, they sort of have a little bit of wood. And we want to leave in a couple of hours and we've not finished them. <laughs> what a mushroom deadline. Yeah. Mushroom Plus what time you might leave it for. It's yeah. two now, so we better get over there soon. But what a weekend it's been! Yeah, it's been brilliant. We've had a really good time, met loads of lovely people, lots yeah. that we knew, lots that we didn't. So yeah. Thank you so much for making it great. And we will get on the road and we will see you really soon. One, two, three. Bye! Bye.